groups. But what, though, makes the difference between a finalist and the winner we hope it can be? The sports psychologist, Roberta Forzoni, joins us from Wimbledon. Roberta, very good morning to you. I know you've, I'm told you've worked with Andy Murray before. Uh, there's never been pressure like this. How will yes. he respond? I think he's going to respond really well. We're seeing a new mature Andy Murray this season, uh, being able to cope with the psychological aspects of the game as much as before he coped with the physical aspects. So I think he's going to cope really well this, this time around. People talk a lot in professional sport, don't they, about the importance of mental toughness. And, you know, you think of cricket, batsmen, you know, people talk about it being 95% in the mind. What's the split in tennis? I mean, clearly, physicality plays its part, and he has got stronger. Yeah, I think what, what happens in all sports, when it gets down to the crucial moment, it does come down to your mindset. I mean, physically, you've done all the work. Technically, tactically, you're, you, you, you're, you're there already. You've, you've got the technique. So when it comes down to these fine moments, like a slam final, it comes down to the mental strength of, of the competitor. And what we're seeing from Andy this year is, for the first time, I think, when it comes to the crunch, he's able to handle, handle that pressure a lot better than previously. So he's controlling on things he can control. He's not getting, his emotional temperature is not fluctuating too much. So he's not shouting at the bench. His body language is much better. So all around, his psychological state is the strongest I've ever seen it. Yeah, I wonder to what extent he's taking a lead from Ivan Lendl, you know, this dispassionate figure. I mean, Murray's got this sort of Team Murray sitting there. And you wonder sometimes when his, you know, his partner and family members are looking and they're every bit as emotionally involved as he is, if not more so, looking terribly animated. And there's Lendl, the ice man, giving nothing away. Is that helpful? Of course it is, yeah, and that's one of the reasons that he got Ivan on board, because of his mental strength and his mental character. And some of that's brushed off on Andy, but let's not forget, Andy's been in the slam finals now, this is his fourth slam final, so he's used to the occasion, and he's not letting the pressure of the media and the hype get to him. He talks a lot about being in his bubble this time round, and going home and just trying to detach himself, he's not reading the papers, trying to not look at uh, too much... Uh, TV and coverage of, of, of Wimbledon and he's trying to keep himself to himself and just not play the occasion but play the match and that's what he's doing well and that's what's going to give him his best opportunity of getting a result today. The thing is Roberto, I suppose there's enough within the match itself as you say to mess with your head isn't there? I mean I was just thinking about the semi-final match and oh. that final winning point which had to be reviewed and it was just in and he casts his eyes, his eyes heavenwards looking for some kind of divine intervention or, you know, thanking somebody somewhere for making sure the ball had landed in. You can forgive them for being superstitious, some of these top-line players, because the margins are so fine. The, the, the margins are really fine, and it comes down to just that focus, that, that intense focus, and what we saw with Andy in the semi. The, his focus had been so, so strong throughout the match that as soon as he got that last point, it was just released, and that's why you see some of these competitors break down in tears and cry because they can just let that emotion go after the match and after, after the finish, that last point. And the last thing he wants to do is come away and say, if only, you know, if only I kept control at that crucial point. So there's going to be lots of fluctuations in this game, lots of momentum changes, lots of swings. If he can handle the good and the bad swings in the same way, as Federer would do normally, he's going to give himself a great chance today. Yeah, as you say, there could be some tears today, that's for sure. Roberto Fazzoni, thanks very much indeed. One man who is not afraid.